Hey, good morning, everybody. Well, it's not even morning. Well, it's still morning. It's 11 o'clock. Um, what's going on today? We got a lot of stuff going on. So let's go ahead and just take a look at um, <laughs> what I got so far. So here is the parts for the other system that I'm doing um, came in. I'm still waiting for something but that's the good thing that i always use the same stuff so i had to pull out the hard drive from this system that a church just purchased from me and there's the microphone i was looking for um this is the um system that a church just purchased from me spring creek spring creek so i'm using a different motherboard but the hard drive is exactly the same the rest of these parts have not come in yet but all of these have, and I haven't started anything yet. So I just took the hard drive out of here that came really fast. I'm gonna put it in this system, got the memory, got hard drive, literally got everything for this system. The only thing I'm waiting for is the processor, which is not gonna be here until Friday, but I can pull out another processor, put it in here, put it inside the case, um, run everything and install everything so we can be good to go then take out the old processor and then when the new one comes in everything is already installed ready to run just drop the new processor in the ryzen 5 1600 and then be able to ship it out because i want to get this to this one i want this to be shipped out um, by tomorrow since i have to go to lynchburg this weekend um, so that's what we got going on i am upgrading my sound as well too um, plus it gives me an opportunity to test out some stuff as well too so I have purchased the Rode Podcaster Pro a lot of people have said good things about that um, plus I want my stuff to be simple and it allows me to actually offer bringing in people on my Q&A's with AJ offer a telephone number that people can call in on and stuff like that so I think that would be cool um, and then it just opens up the possibilities of doing some other stuff because I want it to be simpler. The Yamaha board that I got was a good, nice transition, but hey, we're stepping it up. Um, we want to produce some better, more quality stuff and looking to get back into my podcast stuff. So um, I want a simpler system to where obviously I'm not having anybody here that I can have somebody dial in and get better audio over the phone um, that way. Um, what else we got? We got choir rehearsal today. Um, my daughter is coming back with me after choir rehearsal. And we just got a lot of stuff going on. So I want to make sure we get this straight. I got a whole bunch of boxes I need to get rid of. As you can see, this is why I am super excited about um, getting up out of here so I can get some more space. I need some workspace. I need a dedicated space for our office, dedicated space for my daughter um, and things like that. But really excited. I mean, more than thankful for everything, that all the opportunities that God has opened up. Um, this started just from putting videos out for um, my ministry and it has, um, you know, done exceedingly and abundantly above anything that I could ever ask or think. And I'm beyond thankful for that. That's why I want to give my best to y'all um, as best as I can. And then out of the earnings, not from any contributions that were given, but earnings of work that I've done, whether it be music or other side gigs that I do, video editing, um, I'm investing back into the channel business to produce better quality stuff for y'all. So that's where the sound came from. And again, I don't throw away the stuff that I got. I donate it um, to other people who could use it, other ministries, other individuals um, from a ministry standpoint, because that's my thing. I just don't, I love y'all who are reaching out to me, um, but I don't, I don't do this handout stuff. Um, especially if you call me or send me an email specifically saying, hey, you're doing good in YouTube. Why don't you just buy this for me? I'm like, that's bold, but no, I don't do that. Um, in prayer is when I decide, um, and then I get an answer in prayer of whether I should give to this or donate or help out, something like that. So please just don't ask, um, just being honest. But let's see, I need to go do some grocery shopping. Um, 
And like I said, we got two on-sites that we're gonna be doing in my hometown this weekend. Gonna be catching up with two other churches. So we're gonna be visiting a total of four churches when we're back there. Um, and we'll go from there. I have a bunch of videos that I, I did and I stopped. I need to finish those up, but we'll get back to that. So let me, um, I'm gonna do a formal build of this system when everything comes in and we'll go from there. But let's, let's get this system put together and um, start getting windows and everything installed. So what we got is a 1050 GTX 1050 um, Ti right there um, that is going to handle this 16 gigs of memory. Um, we have a 500 gigabyte NVMe for the OS. So on the back, this graphics card can support four outs, two HDMI, one display port, one DVI. I took the caps off of this and put them on here because just want to let y'all know, cause I've had a lot of people ask me this question when they follow some of my videos and the stuff isn't working. The, if you have an APU, kind of like the Ryzen um, 3200, 3400 G, um, 2200 G, 2400 G, anything that has the built in um, graphics card on the chip, that's what these display outs are for. These are not display ends. There is no motherboard to my knowledge or graphics card that has video in. These are all out. Um, so anyway, if you have that, a GPU that's built onto the CPU, that's how these would work. If you don't, these do not work. And especially even if you have, like if I had a 3400G in this system right now, these would work. But once I plug in a dedicated graphics card, this will not work. This is the only thing. So this is for the graphics for the church. This is where your monitor would go and everything. And again, these are not ends. You can't hook up a camera and then expect video to go into this. These are video out to a monitor TV projector only. That includes this as well. All right, so we got everything here. Um, and pretty much all the systems I'm building recently are the Ryzen 5 1600s. That's the reason why I'm sticking to these motherboards because I know that they work. Um, if I go this same one, this is the Gigabyte. If I went to the B550, it does not recognize that chip. Um, like I did, I said that in an earlier video that I learned this the hard way. So I ended up having to um, use that processor for something else and then giving a faster processor, um, going and buying a 3600 because I know that that would work with it. It just, it's at the discretion of the people who make the motherboard if they're going to support all of the processors or just the new ones going forward. So at this point, everything is done. I'm just going to put in a borrowed GPU, I mean CPU, excuse me, into this so that I can get the system to start up. We're going to install Windows, install all the software, all that other fun stuff. And then um, take that out. And then we just have to wait for when the Ryzen 5 1600 comes in, plop that in. It'll just detect a faster processor. Everything will work. And then we're going to put it in a box and ship it to another church. All right. So what do I have from here? So now that we got this, I'm going to clean up all this other stuff. Um, similar to this system that I got, we're building another one, but that's with the ASRock motherboard that you saw me take out. Um, all of these extra parts should be around the same time. Um, I think the one for Spring Creek, all the rest of the parts are actually going to be here Monday. And then there's another system that I'm building for a church just for live streaming. They, um, I'm actually need to order their A10 Mini. I'm gonna do that once I move to new bank account. I mean, new business accounts. So they are taking a little bit longer to clear checks and stuff like that. Um, Cause my bank is going out of business 
for whatever reason. Um, so I had to move everything over. So me purchasing stuff is a little bit slower than I normally would want. But anyway, that stuff is supposed to post. The funds will post tomorrow. So I can go ahead and order the A10 Mini. Um, I should get that by Monday. So this other church, I'll be able to ship that stuff out to them Wednesday at the latest of next week. Um, Spring Creek is local, so I just got to call them up and then I'm going to hand deliver that one. So they should be good. Um, and I have two other systems that are in the works, but they're the church is on a payment plan with them. So once they get to that point, I'll um, get everything with them. So, but what I do is when they pay the certain amount, I go ahead and order the equivalent part to cover that price. So um, I have one church to pay $250. I'm supposed to be getting another $250 from them in Lynchburg this weekend. Um, and then another church has paid and that money covered um, the motherboard and the case. So I just, you know, piecemeal it together to cover what they got. Cause I understand some people can't do it all in one shot. It's nothing the matter with that. We work with them. Um, that's the difference between us and um, <laughs> other box stores and stuff like that. But be careful with that. I, I will help you as much as I possibly can. But like I said, parts are limited. So most of the time, if you if these churches have got wanted to purchase something from me, I have them on the phone. I verify that everything is available and I can only guarantee that for about like 24 hours. Um, and then we go from there. But what else we got to do? I'm just going to take the same music that I was going to do before I went on vacation for choir rehearsal. Um, that's all depending on who shows up um, since it snowed that day. So we didn't even have church. Um, there. Wish we had pre-recorded pre it, but oh well. Uh, what else we got? Um, that's later this afternoon. I need to do some grocery shopping and I am waiting for some other products to come in and we'll be doing a review and hooking up the new sound system. So let me get cleaned up, get rid of this trash and then uh, yeah, we'll go from there. Alright, so I took a lot more time than I wanted to, but we got um, system. All right, so we got the system for, that's gonna be for video editing and live streaming there, which will be the um, Ryzen 5 3600, 3600, Ryzen 5 1600. Um, it has a GTX 1050 Ti inside of it. So first off, it's more than enough horsepower to handle the live streaming just from the CPU, but they do have a GPU, but specifically they wanted it because it's gonna be doing multiple tasks. That graphics card is gonna allow them to have four concurrent displays going on at the same time so they're going to be using um presenter <laughs> by um we which i think i need to install on here too um they want to do video editing on here so the processor as well as the gpu will help with that i installed the davinci resolve because that's what they asked for um i put the obs complete bundle on there and they already have a camera and they already have a capture device so I didn't need anything with that. So this will be more than enough. All I gotta do when I get back, cause I took too long doing all this, installing everything, need to go get some groceries, I'll be back. Then gotta go back out again for choir rehearsal, but I'm gonna go ahead and buy a Windows license, get that installed, um, hook up a camera, do some tests. Um, and then that one is good to go once I get the real processor, because right now I'm just running a um, AMD 200GE in there right now just to install everything. Um, and that should be good. The processor should be here tomorrow. I also built out the other system here for Spring Creek. That one is fine. I'm waiting again for that one. I'm waiting for the waiting for the hard drive, the second hard drive, the NVMe, the two terabyte is in there. That's almost gonna be an identical system because both of them are gonna be 1050 Ti's, um, the Ryzen 5 1600. Neither one of them is gonna have a internal capture card. Um, 16 gigabytes of memory, pretty much everything is exactly the same. Um, 
they're gonna use it for one purpose. This other one, um, Spring Preak is gonna use it for streaming secondarily. Uh, is it their secondary role, but it's mainly gonna be for editing. And I know this is gonna be way more powerful than the old iMac that they were using. Um, so that's good. We have two other systems that we're gonna be installing that's supposed to be coming in as well too. Actually, excuse me, we have three more that are coming in. Um, and all of those, are still gonna be the same thing, the Ryzen 5 1600, because that's the chip I can get access to easily. Um, we have dual, um, I know this is, I might get flamed for this, but I am using the NVIDIA GT710 just for a basic graphics card, just for one output to a monitor, because all the heavy lifting is gonna be on that CPU. All of that stuff is supposed to be in tomorrow, and then we have another, I need to order a, um, try and overnight an A10 Mini. Um, once this, the funds post, hopefully it should post this evening. Tonight, I'll order it first thing um, in the morning and then hopefully it'll be here Saturday or Monday. Then I can ship everything out. I already told them I wanna ship it out by um, Wednesday um, at the latest. But let me get, up, just got cleaned up, throw some shoes on, throw the coat on, let's go get some groceries. All right, folks, so we are back, finished the grocery shopping, and I ended up getting something right on my way back. Let me show you, and we'll do it in depth. This will be a separate video when I talk about this, but we got the new sound system in. The Rode Podcaster Pro. So I'm gonna set this up here. Um, I'll set this as a dedicated video to do that, but um, I'm gonna see how much I can get done before I head to choir rehearsal. And yeah, so this will be a standalone video. Um, I've already moved my old Yamaha out of the way. I'm gonna see what I can use this for. Most likely I might use this for if we go back to streaming games. That way I can have two people with mics and stuff like that, but we'll see. So let me go ahead and crack this open and we'll go from there. <laughs> 